It might seem like a good buy if your budget is a bit tighter or you just buy an older iPhone. In that case, I've bought quite a few used and refurbished iPhones for a while now and I've tested all of them. So here are some top tips to avoid being conned, you know, or lose money. So if you wanna know that your iPhone is actually genuine, the first thing you should do is go to settings and then the about section and find the serial number. Now type that in to the Apple coverage website and it'll show you when it was bought and what's the coverage on that like. The second thing you should do is search for True Tone because most refurbished or used iPhones usually have damage screens so they replace them with like counterfeit ones. The counterfeit ones don't have True Tone. So the third thing is to check the model number. If it's M, it's original, it means it's a genuine phone that's been used for a bit. But if it's N, it means that some of the parts have been replaced. And if it's an F, it means it's refurbished. And the fourth one is to check for water damage, which normal people wouldn't really get to know. But there is a way. All you have to do is remove the SIM tray and check for a red dot or red line, because if there's water damage, that's what it shows. And last but not the least is to check for the battery health because if a battery is under 80% you don't want to buy that phone. And also you need to check the cycle count which most older iPhones don't really get apart from iPhone 15 or 15 Pro. And there is a way to check the cycle count as well. You can do that by looking through the privacy and security and then going to analytics and improvements. Now choose analytics data with the latest date and then click share with the latest data. Now choose the battery stats option, which will then show you the battery cycle count. There you have it. These are some of the tips that you could use if you're buying a used or refurbished iPhone. If you found it useful, hit that subscribe button and like the video if you did. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.